Okay. Here's a quick video tour around the outside of the new V8M. You can see it's highly shiny, very thin even when closed, and even thinner when opened. It truly is a razor. Taking a look at the keypad, very similar in design to the original Razer. Has a metal, smooth metal finish. The outside of the phone, you can see the very large external display. And the touch capacitance buttons are here and are grayed out when not being used. The side of the phone has volume keys and the other side has an application key. You can see the hinge design. It's made out of aluminum. It's very solid. And you can see it's very shiny on the inside. One thing to notice about the phone is it's lost the large chin that used to be at the end of the phone and housed the antenna. It has a very slim profile. The back of the phone has a slightly textured feel to it, which is very nice. The V8 version does not have a micro SD slot. For easier PC connectivity, the Razer uses a USB 2.0 connector. To keep the design very thin, Motorola slimmed down to the micro USB connector pin, which you can see here is very small. This is a walkthrough of the UI menu system on the Razer V9M. So V9M has got access to many of the popular items directly from the screen. So by pressing the middle button here, I can go to my music options. I can read the memory card or choose to bypass that if I've already gone through my card. I can go through the songs. I can press, choose the song I like, press again to play it. I got some visualization here. You also have the ability to change the visualization on this. If you would like to forward through a song or through a menu item, you can just press the buttons. You get a nice haptic feel and you can go back and forth. And if you're completing that item, you can just press the play pause and it takes you directly back to the idle screen. You can also go check your inbox. So in this case, all my messages are in my inbox. And if I like to read a particular message, I can press and see who's called. I can delete or not delete the message. So let's say I do not want to delete the message. And I can again go back to the idle screen by pressing the site. And if I like to watch a video, I could simply do that by going to my menu item. And I can watch a video. I can choose to do a full screen playback. And I can watch a beautiful full screen playback as it fast forwards through the movie. The keypad is beautifully um, outlined, large, so that you can reach all the phones, uh, buttons easily. Direct access to your camera and video. So, another feature that the V9 has because of its Linux Java user interface is you can customize which icons appear where in your main menu. Here's a quick demonstration. So once you've created your new folder on your main menu and you'd like to move it to a place that you can access it more easily, you can highlight the icon and go to options and select the reorder key. What that does is you'll notice it'll, it has uh, highlight boxes around each of the icons and you can select grab on the soft key and then move your icon anywhere you want it to be on your menu. Once you've reached that location, the top left, say, of the main menu, you press insert on the left soft key, go back, and now it's in the top left location as you select it. There'll be another version.